Hello everyone, we're taking a break from just normal wackadoo you can do this programming where it's maximum work for minimal improvement and we're gonna test some products. And to do that, I brought people who know more about these products than I do and that person is me. Sam Mason, everybody, owner of Oddfellows Ice Cream Company, Lady J's Bar, Empire Mayonnaise, but he is the ice cream aficionado. He's gonna walk us through and figure out his take on three machines that you can buy for home use. The first one we have here is one with an internal compressor, which means it has built-in refrigeration. The second one uses ice from your freezer, and the third one uses pre-frozen buckets. This one having the, the internal compressor, you just pour the product in, turn it on. This is probably the easiest way to make ice cream. And it also has a pre-cool situation where you can turn it on and this thing will be, the compressor will be chilling for upwards of 20 minutes, so when you put the product in, it's already started, it's already nice and cold. If you were to pre-freeze this, like it allows you to, but we're not going to because it's unfair, uh, you will get probably smaller ice crystals. Was that better mouthfeel? Yes. Great. Smaller the better. And then next up, we have the uh, Nostalgia Ice Cream Maker, which uses the ice, and this comes in around $39.99. Which this one is obviously uh, based on salt and ice. This one's probably gonna be a slower process. I'm gonna be impressed if this comes out awesome. The last one here is the Cuisinart uh, ice cream maker. This rings in around $53, $54, and this uses the freezer bowl. Put the ice cream in it, this thing agitates it, the cold's on the outside. As long as you mix it up, cold becomes on the inside. You're not gonna purchase this and go home and make ice cream. The barrel needs to get frozen for Upwards of a day and a half, yeah. two days. I'm, I'm kind of excited about this one. Well, considering you get 10 of these for the price of this one. Yeah, this one you can break consist consistently over and oh, over we'll and over again. we'll break this today. And you can have a new one at your door, primed in two days or less. You should get on a subscription. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also the question of how much ice cream are you really gonna make? Are you gonna have one party and then realize, oh, I don't like making ice cream and I got True. stuck with $400? Or this thing goes underneath the counter and. If you ever need it again, it's there. And that's a big consideration to take, is like, when you're at these price points, how often are you gonna make ice cream? One, this guy, and especially this guy, take up a ton of space in your kitchen. You Think have to of all the things plants. you can use this bucket for. Let's get started. You brought some ice cream base with I you. Did. We're gonna portion this out, and we're probably gonna do what for each? Uh, let's put a quart in each. Everyone's using the same base. The base is at the temperature, same temperature in each one. We're gonna start each one at the same time and analyze it as we go through the steps. We need to probably ice and salt this first with the bowl in it, right? Yep. So uh, the bowl is in our freezer right here. Put this in here. We put this guy on top. Well, obviously, maybe to set it. And why don't get we ice Why don't going. we put the quart of ice cream in this first? Okay. See, this is all new, new for us too. It's new for us too. So we have the bag of ice, and we need salt. The salt's gonna allow for it to freeze colder than it normally would as water. So we'll do a, uh, about a layer of salt now. Yeah. Talk to me about these paddles. This paddle is going to be rigid inside this, and it's gonna spin the uh, it's gonna spin the barrel, the uh, the aluminum canister which is essentially gonna make the friction on the side make it colder. So the movement is moving the cold from the outside yes, to the inside. Yes, it's agitation. That's why you got these paddles, yes. okay. Come on, Mason, get it together. I guess, I guess I should have done this. Oh. There we go. Okay, I made it, made it a little more difficult than it was supposed to be. And last but not least, do you wanna get our... Um... Yes, I'll get the balls. It's supposed to have no movement of liquid, and if you listen, it should be frozen, and this, this was in there for about 24 hours, um, so really, probably about 36 hours, even though the recommendation is 16 to 24. But we want to do everything kind of according to factory directions, and so we're taking it at the 24. All right, let's let the freezing begin. This one, now the canister now the canister is actually spinning and the ice is stationary, which is what we've been waiting on. Yeah. That just comes from the ice finding, we had it packed in kind of tight, so now everything is where it needs to be, and uh, this is freezing probably better than either of the, uh, of the other two. So out the gate, nostalgia that you can break is coming out the gate strong. Yeah. We can get this down around 15 degrees, this, uh -huh. this, this ice bath, pretty impressive. Over here we We're have 48 degrees over here. Let's test it against this guy. It's dropping. 44, 42, 
39. <laughs> and what we have happening in here is really nothing. These are both consistently being frozen, whereas this one is thawing out. Oh, God. This it. is not getting any colder. In fact, it's getting less cold. This one might be a great addition to a milkshake. 38.2. What is that feature? There's, that's why you spend, that's why you spend the $400. Music. Right now we're sitting around 10 minutes in, yeah. and we already have ice cream being made here. I can see the freezing, the product that's frozen, and I can see how, can you see where the agitation's happening on the wall right there? Yeah. That's, that's a viscosity that's a lot thicker than any one of these. Do I dare say there. that your initial hypotheses oh, wait. is now Super shifting shot. Super shot. behind the nostalgia? In hindsight, this is more like a, a professional machine. Obviously, it's done in a real rudimentary fashion. Yeah. But in, it, it, as far as con concept, this is the most efficient out of these three. You can store things inside it. Cleaning products, bleach. Cleaning product, mop bucket. Mop bucket. We're at 23 minutes right now. Distinct ribbons off of this ice cream base are coming up. It's no longer a liquid. It's actually it looks like it's folding into itself. Yeah, we're, we're, we're about five, six minutes away from this being ready to go. So we're actually at 38.1 right now. The temperature from about 10 minutes ago has gone up about a degree. Um, and since there is no internal cooling mechanism in here, it's not gonna get much better. The one that freezes faster is the one that's gonna be better. Just because the ice crystals are gonna be smaller, they're given less time to develop. Our little engine that could is, is running away right now. The Breville with the pre-chill would be done by now. Probably would be done by now. We have some sad news to report. We're flatlining over here. We've gone up three degrees. Yeah, we're not, we're not in a happy ice cream place. I think the wise thing to do at this point Really? Is make it a two horse race. You pulling the plug? We're gonna pull the plug, right? I mean, it's just sad now. <laughs> right, off the, right off the table. <laughs> it's been 40 minutes, let's take a look and get a real okay. reference point of what this is. We can see this one. To and turn we... this one off. Oh yeah, it's got an on off switch. The ice cream's moving still. It's not really ice cream, it's, it's soft serve still. Soft serve. So it's not like a hard scoop ice cream. You, no matter what ice cream we make, you're gonna wanna harden it um, in the freezer. And I think we're ready here. So let's get this in the freezer. Now, it's a waiting game. What are we looking for? Texturally, we want something that's creamy and, and smooth. The smaller the ice crystals, the less you're gonna feel, but I think the better the product is. Okay. So we really only have two to compare. Now, they're both gonna be on the, on the soft side because they haven't been in the freezer very long, but I think we'll be able to tell what the texture is and who wins the overall ice cream challenge for the day. Great, so uh, should we try the Breville first? Sure, we should. I think it's smooth, I think that's, I think that's once that's hardened, I think it's going to be a really nice, really nice consistency. Yeah? Yeah. Let's see how the... Uh... Oh, wow. I find it to be even smoother. That's actually a noticeable difference. Yeah. It, it's like extremely creamy. The, 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 even the tiniest bit of grain that you got on there almost seems like it's... It disappeared on this one. Disappeared in this one. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is... <laughs> <laughs> you. Sam. As an ice cream professional, if you were to say out of one, two, three, maybe just one, two. Yeah, I think three is pretty much fending for itself. Uh, I, I, I this, this is one. This is the winner today. This is a, this is a close, close, close second. Uh, but if you weigh the price point into it, it's a little further away. Yeah. But as far as product, 
This, well, across the board, this wins. The old you're fashion. eating your words oh, no, right no, now. No. Well, and it pains rest. you a little bit. I, you know, I don't. I'm too old to get to get upset about stuff like that anymore. Okay. So for those folks at home, your nostalgia ice cream maker is going to give you not only texture, but a very low cost item to get that beautiful ice cream. Thanks, brother. You're welcome for coming in. Um, if you don't want to run through all this hassle, just hit up Sam at Odd Fellows. Uh, he will take care of you with delicious flavors of all kinds. If you want to see more videos like this, maybe we break some more stuff, click here. Like, why can I not do this at home? Like, why, why is this not a thing? I don't want to cut a hole in my dining room table and make a trough. I asked.